Go out, you will, yeah? All right, good man. All right, coming in. All right, ready? Ready? Don't feed his ego.
Second goal for Carl Shulton and his 21st of the season, number 11, Mikel Miller. Another goal for Carl Schultz Athletic, Hattrick Hero, scored by number 11, Mikel Miller. Welcome to Robins Fans TV. I'm James Barrett Sterling. I've been joined by hat trick hero Mikel Miller as Carl Shorten beat Sittingbourne 3 0 today. I imagine how loud they'd be if they'd actually won. I can't believe it. It's going mad. Mikel, you must be on cloud nine at the moment. Uh, I don't get it. I thought we were the winning side. <laughs> how are you feeling after that one? Yeah, I'm feeling well. 
Like again, I'm glad to get three goals. Good performance. We stuck to our game plan, and it worked again. So not much I can say about it. It uh, seemed like it was quite a tight affair today, though. It uh, took a long time to get the opening goal, but also both sides were, were into pressing today, wasn't it? Yeah, of course. They set off us and gave us a lot of time, so we had to be patient, like look after the ball, Pete said, in certain areas, and then they will open up, and then that's what happened. Ended up like, getting two pens and a goal at the end. Yeah, you mentioned the penalties there, one, one in each half. Uh, how come you were on them today? There's Jordan Cheadle was out there. I'm sure Raheem Sterling Parker will probably be uh, having a look when he comes back. Uh, only if I miss, only if I miss. Like they had their chances and I'm on them now until I miss, so yeah. yeah you, you seem quite confident. A little, a little birdie told me in the stands, Alex Kazakis, little name drop there, uh, that you guys have been practicing them at training on Thursday and he said you were looking quite good to be fair. Yeah, um, practicing training's coming well. Like my shots, I've been practicing them and it's all paying off on the pitch. Like just been told to compose myself, like sometimes I hit them over, but now I'm just relaxing and making sure I hit the target. And, they're all going in at the moment. Uh, it's, a, it's a belated Happy New Year from all of us at Robins TV. Were you a bit disappointed that the South Park game got called off on New Year's Day? I was and I wasn't because <laughs> I had a late night to be fair. But <laughs> So it was good it was on. But yeah. <laughs> yeah well, you must be doing something right to hit a hat trick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Resting, stretching, listening to Pete. And we're all working hard in training. So. That's where it's all coming from. Robins Fans TV, I'm James Barrett Sterling. I've been joined by Liam and Paul, both staunch Zitting Paul supporters. A uh, bit of a bad day at the office today, 3 0 defeat here at Colson Avenue. Liam, what was your take on the game? Um, there were two penalties which I didn't really see the most of, but one of them I don't think was a penalty, but of course, from the ref's position, you don't really see if it's in the box or out. So, of course, at the end of the day, two ref's decisions, but again, 1 0. Uh, without penalties, so still would have lost anyway. So that's it. Yeah, Paul, did you have a, a view on the game at all? I thought your boys um, played quite well in terms of pressing the ball, but maybe not a lot going forward. Troubles with ball at the moment. We're playing well. Speaking to your supporters at half time, their first penalty weren't a penalty. Right. They were all saying, "What was it given for?" So, but, but the way we're playing, we nothing's going for us. We are we're playing well, just nothing's going for us. Just the way it is. So it's just missing oh, that little. We will, we will keep supporting them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Just missing that little bit of luck. You are. I think. I think the luck is totally against us. What can you do? That win puts us uh, fifth in the league at the moment. Unfortunately, all the other clubs around us all won as well. Greenwich, Lewis, you know the usual suspects. But we got to keep doing what we're doing, right? Yeah, of course. Just don't even worry about them. It's still early, so we continue to do what we're doing, and hopefully we'll finish in that top two. And ju just finally, uh, Mikel's actually picked up a fan from uh, deep uh, in Europe, uh, a guy called Izudin in uh, Serbia. Uh, he says he watches all of our highlights on Robin's TV and he's, uh, you're his favourite player. Oh, that's nice to know. Thank you, Izudin. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully he'll be watching these, uh, these highlights as well. Congratulations today, Mikel. Chaps, what did you make of the game today? I, uh, well, I think we were on top the whole game. Uh, Seat and Bourne got a lot of ch chances. Um, I think Billy Bishop was great in goal. Um, Mikel Miller's three goals, absolutely great. Lucky to score um, all two, both penalties. We're not the best on penalties, as, ever, as everyone sees. And we were on top in the game, so we, we won. And so we played well. <laughs> Get past the big pit, you can try a little trick, anyway, look for it. We got the big pit, go on. Robins Fans TV, it wouldn't be a true episode of this if we didn't have staunch supporter Christian with us today. Uh, Christian, a workman-like performance maybe? 3-0 three, uh, three obviously tells a, a different story, but it was quite difficult today, wasn't it? Yeah, they were a difficult team to break down. I thought we were playing with, our, with the brakes on for a little while. It wasn't the sort of best performance to start with. They had our chances, but I think we got kind of the rub of the green with the penalties, to be honest. Spe no, especially the first one. It could have not, we, we could have not been given it, but you know, Mikel put it away, and you know, we haven't been great on our last couple of penalties and stuff like that. So it's good to actually put a goal away that was penalty or a couple for that matter. So it's all good. Yeah, I, I actually asked Mikel in a, another interview if he was going to be on penalties moving forward now, and he said he would, but he's still hesitant because Jordan and, and Raheem are in the in the background. Yeah. Well, to be fair, he's the one who's actually scored his most recent penalty. I'm not sure if actually um, Mikel's actually missed one, to be honest. Not this season. I could be wrong, but like... Um, I, don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever seen him um, take them before, actually. So he's, he could be two for two. 
Well, yeah, but there might be a system already at the club and it might be down to Jordan and Raheem Sterling Parker for first refusal, so I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> um, Sorry. Liam, that's uh, seven defeats on the spin. I didn't want to mention that, but obviously it doesn't look, it look, doesn't yeah. look good on paper. What, what, what's going wrong in your eyes? On paper, it doesn't look good at all. But of course, with the decisions that are being made by officials, we just haven't had the luck. So I think we can get a win, but it's just we have had a lot of great sides recently with Greenwich Borough, Lewis at home, their team's pushing for promotion. And we're just, we were pushing, but now we're just kind of sitting back and... I reckon we can get up there, but we need to turn this around straight away. But yeah, well, I must say your supporters were in fine voice today. You could hear hear them from minute one to the ninetieth. Um, is it your first visit to Colston Avenue? No, I've been here a few times, mate. I like the grand. I like the people. I like it's such a laugh. The, the fans are not what we are. I mean, we are we from minute one to minute ninety. No matter how the team are playing, we'll support them. That is how we are. And. Even if we lose the next 10 games, that'll, that'll be how we are. So that, that is it. We will all support the team. And I think it's how you should support them. Yeah. So. It's up. Well, I, both of these guys also support Arsenal, and I've got to send them back to their Tottenham loving mates now, unfortunately. <laughs> so sorry about that, boys. But we'll, we'll, we'll be coming down to yours, won't we, soon? Because we haven't been yet. So. Who do you support? I'm a Chelsea fan. Oh, that's not too bad. Not too bad, not too. I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us on Robin's no, TV, boys. Thanks, thanks for. Yeah, yeah, of course. Ben Bissett is a melt. All right. <laughs> That's an exclusive. Can you, <laughs> Can you please put it on there? That is so funny. <laughs> joined by man of the match today, Michael Azaya. Michael, another valuable three points, but it was quite a hard work out there today. It was. It was at the first half, but um, we just stopped our, our manager's game plan to just sit off, let them have the ball, and when we do get the ball, let's. Go on the counter attack, literally. Um, both sides were pressing the ball really well today. Um, I think part of the reason you got man in the match was because you were you were quite instrumental in breaking up a lot of their attacks. Uh, but they were conversely doing the same. But they didn't really offer much going forward, did they? Not at all. But um, that's what I'm, that's what I'm in there for. To be fair, my man just told me to told me just sit there, get the ball, and just play it. Let, let our attackers do the job, do, do the attacking stuff, and I just do. Be a, be, a, be a box to box player as well. Uh, Mikel Miller hat trick today. Is he your favourite player? No. no. Who is? Go on, tell me. Billy Bishop. Another one for Bi Another one for Billy Bishop because. Because I'm a goalkeeper. Like yourself. Yes, I'm a goalkeeper too. Excellent. Uh, you were playing for the under nines today, weren't you? Yes. Well, how, how did you get on? Uh, well, I went to hospital 15 minutes after, but um. I did a few good saves in the first 15 minutes, yeah. What what happened? I uh, got hit in the face with a ball and um, I felt like my jaw went up and then I really hurt my ear somehow. But I was, uh, I went to hospital and they said I was fine, so. Oh well. So I was able to go to this game. Excellent, exactly. That's the, that's the main thing. See, it doesn't stop our supporters coming down. That's great, Billy. Another valuable three points today against sitting born three 0 winners and a clean sheet for you as well. I don't want to say a rare clean sheet to your face, but yeah, yeah. it no. is, isn't it? <laughs> no, um, I mean it's brilliant. Great win, three points. That's what we want. Um, pushing for that them top place in the league, and yeah, clean sheet. I mean, it is something that we've worked on um, just towards the back end of of last year um, and going into this year. It's something that we've worked on and. It really good. I mean, from the front, we, we press from the front and a lot of the time we're picking the ball up in the midfield, which is brilliant because then we're ready to go and attack. Um, but then the back four as well, solid. And today, not a shot to save. And that's credit to the hard work from the back four, midfield and the front man. And Michael was our man of the match. I mean, he was everywhere today. So someone like that in the middle that's going to do that and, and break it all up is, is, is brilliant and it's always good for us. Unfortunately, all the other promotion rivals won today as well. Mm. So it's very much a case of as you were. But we did go up one place with uh, Walton Casuals not playing today, so we're up to fifth. Still feeling confident going into the new year? Still feeling confident. I mean, last week's games went extremely well for us, but unfortunately we didn't get to play because South, Park, South Park's pitches was unplayable. So had we won on that day as well, we would have been probably up, uh, maybe up to second place, I think, at the moment. So we've still got a game in hand, despite how the other thing, the other results are going on. And now Cray have only got one game in hand over us, I believe. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, we can only keep doing what we're doing. 
and you know focus on our game and other results will be teams will lose teams will lose points maybe to teams who you don't expect like for example Lewis losing points to um, Horsham and obviously these things will happen to be honest I mean it's, it's always going to be there's always going to be um, turns and peaks and troughs and things like that and, and these sort of things happening so we've just got to take advantage of the opportunities that we have and make sure we win our games first and foremost. And only one defeat in 14 recently as well I mean how proud of you the boys at the moment? Absolutely to be honest we've ground out some results we've had some luck and but overall it's been absolutely brilliant to watch it was really unfortunate the the match against Herne Bay we had a lot of chances in that first half that, to put the game to bed but it didn't happen and it was just one of those things which as I say which can happen in football it's but um, it, fortunately it was seen as a blip rather than a downturn in form because we've come back and we haven't lost since then and an, an important draw with Corinthian casuals and a couple of good wins against Horsham, Shoreham and um, today against Sittingbourne so it's good. Excellent and, ju and just finally how are you feeling after you come back from the injury you got at Thamesmead are you feeling good? Yeah yeah uh, I mean obviously the, the first couple of games back you're, you're trying to get back into your stride um, but now no, I feel very good and you know ready to push on and, and hopefully get where we want to be at the end of the season. Oh, yeah. Match ball. <laughs> thank you, thank all you. All good, all good. And thank you for joining us on Robins TV.